What's missing? Well, somebody drank the wine. That's all I know. It was probably Connor. He's our producer for the show. Sometimes he grabs the wine and runs. I think, Connor, you took the wine out of the wine chiller. Is that why there's none in there? We thought maybe it was him. But listen, it's a wine chiller. But what you may be wondering is you think, okay, well, why can't I just put it in the refrigerator, Mary? This actually sets the temperature to your wine to its optimum temperature of which it was meant to be enjoyed. Let me explain. So when I was in California at the end of last year, I spent a lot of time in Napa and Sonoma and I learned from some incredible winemakers and they actually make their wine to be enjoyed at a certain temperature because that's when the layers of flavor will unlock. That's when the flavors bloom is when it's presented at that perfect temperature. So it's kind of like standard definition television and high definition television. Standard definition, you still get to see what's going on, but it's just a little bit aggravating because you can't quite see anything but the pixels. Same thing here. Your wine is being served at its optimum temperature. And so it's like wine in high def. Now we do have two color choices for you. This is the black. 925 remain in the black. We also have it available in the red. Now, there are 850 left in that red on your screen, but here's the deal. It's $52 and change less today because with this technology, we had it for $94 and change. Today, it's $42.38. Delightful. It's a clearance sale price. Great day to pick it up. And it's on five easy payments of $8.48. Just in time for summer entertaining. Kara DeFalco is coming back with us. Okay, you've had your tea, your coffee. How's the weather where you are? And could you use a glass of wine? I, listen, is, is it not always five o'clock somewhere? Yay. Absolutely, absolutely. So yes, Mary, like you were saying, you know, wine is really one of those things that's meant to be enjoyed at a certain, certain temperature given the varietal you're using. So yes. I am gonna show you guys, I'm making um, both Bellinis and Mimosas Hello. here. And I'm using a type of wine. This is Asti Spumanti. So this is actually from the region of Italy that my mom's family is Aww. from. So this is a sweet, sparkling Italian wine, a white wine. And sparkling wines, all of them, you want to keep at a colder temperature. It helps keep the bubbles inside. The colder liquids can keep the CO2 trapped. So again, that's why you want it in this wine chiller because it's going to keep it at that temperature and i have to tell you mary this thing has a super long cord it does have to be plugged in but it's really easy to set up something like this uh bellini bar and just have your um wine chilling in the wine chiller and then ready to go along with your juices to just top off your drink yeah, I mean, I love the idea of using it for wine, for champagne, for sparkling yes. wine. I mean, anytime you're entertaining, it's a great way to go. I love what you said, too. There's one little outlet on our deck at my house, but I feel like it's in the most cumbersome corner. So I need a longer cord. Check this out. I mean, I'm all the way down the, the sideboard here on our set with this thing. I could reach that right? plug outside, right? <laughs> It's super long, so awesome. it makes it really easy to kind of use this for entertaining purposes or, you know, again, set up a drink bar in your home or at your barbecue and then go ahead and serve your, your wine. So this one I have, uh, I also made some sangria here. This is another family recipe. Ooh. And then for ours, we use Montepulciano di Abruzzo, which is again, the region of Italy that my dad's family is from. So that's kind of uh -huh. our favorite red wine. This one, you would keep a little bit warmer. So a lot of people think, you know, red wines meant to be served at room temperature. That was always kind of the standard um, thought on that. But it turns out it also does need to be chilled down to a certain temperature again on the varietal. So this one's in the 50s is really where you want that. And again, we can just top off that sangria mix with our red wine and off we go. And then I'm going to leave this one out because I want to show you the inside of this, Mary. This one has this great little silicone sleeve on the inside. So it kind of creates a seal around the bottle and helps keep the cold air inside. And then on the back, you see the cooling element goes all the way down the side and around a good portion of the back of it. So you're really getting a lot more surface area of the bottle being cooled. And then again, because of that sleeve, you're able to fit in bottles of different varietals. This is actually a bottle I brought back with me from Italy. So you can see it's slightly different in shape and size yeah. than the classic bottle that you would find here, but it easily sits into the unit. Again, I can chill it to the appropriate temperature. And my favorite part, so, you know, we've been talking about these temperatures. If you're not a sommelier, if you don't know what temperature your wine should be chilled to, 
not to worry, on the back page of the booklet that comes oh. with it, it gives you a list Thank of you. what temperature you should chill your varietal to. So whatever wine that you like, be it sweet, be it dry, sparkling, fruity, whatever it is that you like to enjoy, and I don't judge because where there's wine, you'll probably yeah. find me. Um, whatever temperature, it'll, it's gonna instruct you. So you don't have to have that knowledge. You just have to know that your wine is supposed to be chilled. See, and there's no ice to mess with and there's no condensation either um, because yes. the machine takes care of all of that temperature for you. Black has been most popular. There are 900 remaining there. We also have it in the red and there are 850 remaining there too. It is a situation today where you're saving more than you're spending and we have five easy payments of $8.48. And Kara, will you come back and join us again?